to the x and ln x are inverse function. Therefore, when we compose e to the ln a, we'll get a, e to the ln x is equal to x. When we raise both to the x power, e to the ln a to the x is equal to a to the x. And the power of a power, we multiply the exponent e to ln a times x is equal to a to the x. We can replace a to the x by e to the ln a times x. The integral of e to the ln a times x dx. Now, we are going to let u equal to ln a x, and we know that the integral of e u du, e to the u du, is equal to e to the u plus c. Let u equal to ln a x, du dx will be, well, ln a is a constant, so it's ln a times the derivative of x is just 1. So it's just ln a. And du, when we cross multiply, will be ln a times dx. So to create my du, I need ln a. So I'm going to multiply and divide by ln a. This is the trick that I'm going to use to get my du. The integral becomes 1 over ln a e to the ln a x times ln a dx and it's equivalent to 1 over ln a times e to the ln a x plus c e to the u plus c 1 over ln a and e to the ln a x is right here e to the ln a x is equal to a to the x 1 over ln a times a to the x plus c which is a to the x over ln a plus c